Welcome back, this is the Amateur Act. Today we got Gunslinger Suicidal KF Rig. Started playing Terraria again last night. I've got a few hundred hours in Terraria at this point. Uh, it's a good game, it's a fun game, I like it. It's... it's it, it, it probably qualifies as one of my favorite games, but it, it's like the bottom <laughs> of, of my favorite games for me. Which is... Uh, Strange to say, because Terraria is, at least in my friend group, and especially in my, like, you know, it's kind of like social, you know, standing thing, you know, like the people who I watch and spend time with, and the people who they watch and spend time with, you know, like everybody, everybody that's, uh, that I'm around, and everybody that they're around, everybody loves Terraria, you know, it's it's like the best thing since, uh, since sliced bread, right? That's kind of the, uh, the perception that, that I get. As a, as a uh, just person existing in the world, uh, and I love it. It's a really really fun game. I love it. It's great. It just uh, there there are like so many other games that I also really love that just kind of come out on top, like Killing Floor Two, which um, at this point in time I don't really play for fun. I only play it for recording. I have fun while I record, but, you know, the fun isn't really the motivator. But it, it's a better game than Terraria, in my opinion. Controversial opinion, perhaps, although maybe it's a bit of a biased sample set here, since this is a KF2 video, and the people here are probably going to agree with me, but, you know, whatever. Who cares, dude? Who cares? Um, I, I like KF2 more than Terraria, but... I do like Terraria. It does it does probably qualify as one of my favorite games. It's hard for me to say that because I don't put in the time that I do into to other games that I say are definitely, you know, like my favorite games. Like Minecraft, I have probably over 10,000 hours in. Killing Floor 2, I've got, you know, approaching 1,000 probably, like 500 or 600 or 700 or something like that. RuneScape, I've got definitely over 10,000 hours. I've got, you know, Path of Exile with like 5,000 hours, and Factorio with, has like 600 or something. Like, you know, for Terraria to come out and be like, yeah, well, I got like, you know, 150, 200, maybe 300 hours in it. It just, it feels kind of like I'm not, I'm not falling through, like I've never beaten the Moon Lord. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of stuff in it that I've just never done, you know, whereas in games that, uh, that I consider to be, you know, my favorite games, there is nothing that I haven't done, really. Um, obviously, you know, I have a whole bunch of achievements to do in KF2, but, like, largely those are just stupid ones that aren't fun. Um, and then in, like, pa in Path of Exile, at least when I was playing, there was no content that I didn't do. I did, like, you know, Deep Delves, I did um, Shaper, Elder, Ghosted versions of them, you know, Uber at Siri. I did, uh, you know, I have a, I have a boss killing thread <laughs> to, to help other people with handling the, the boss and stuff. I did, um, you know, all the grandmasters. I was completing like all of the achievements and all that. Like I was, I was doing everything, you know. And in RuneScape, I've, uh, you know, I, I, I farm Telos racks, you know. And then in, in Terraria, I'm like, yeah, I got to the Moon Lord once, and then he killed me, and then I never played it again. And I'm like, yeah, but it's still like probably one of my favorite games because it was really fun. I just, I don't think I've, I've put in the time for me to, to feel like I'm being honest when I say that it's one of my favorite games. So that's why I kind of put it towards the, um, the bottom of the, the favorite games barrel. I wish it was higher because I'd love to play it more because it's really, really, really fun game. Um, oh yeah, in Minecraft I'm like, you know, well, you guys can't see it yet, but in Minecraft I'm also a person who does everything you have know, got like TNT duping chunk loading and I've got uh, flying machines and I've made a quarry myself I have personally designed a quarry it didn't work you know it wouldn't compete with anything that you'd see on the sidecraft server at all but uh, you know I've made it and then then in, in, in Terraria it's just like, yeah, there's like so much that I just haven't done calling it my favorite game seems like I'm I'm lying. It feels like I'm lying, it feels like I'm telling a lie, but I feel like I can't not say it. It like it feels like no matter what I say about it, whether it's my favorite game or not, or when whether it's one of my favorite games or not. It feels like it's a lie. Whatever I say is gonna be a lie. I have to get my um 
do, do. Uh, Corsair utility engine open. One of these days, I swear, I'm gonna add it to my uh, launch options, my uh, my like startup script. I swear, one of these days. One of these days, I'll do that. Promise. I'll do it. I'll do it. Just not today. <laughs> not today. Not today. Uh, anyway, so I've been playing Terraria. They got. Uh, I haven't played since 1.3 something or other. Like the last 1.3 update was the last time I played. Uh, and in that update, we had expert mode, right? You had expert mode, and that was the whole. That was all the rage, right? I I played expert mode bow only. I played bows only. I played a bow build. I guess. I tried other weapons as well, but bows kind of were what I was using. Um, well, it wasn't like a bow only thing, I guess, but it was a, it was a bow run. Uh, I, I made a point to prioritize bows over anything else, and uh, I had a good fun with it. I got to the Moon Lord. I couldn't kill the Moon Lord. I killed everything else. I did everything else in the game that there was to do. Um, I just, I never killed Moon Lord. And, uh, now you got master mode, and boy, it's hard. Boy, it's hard. I had a, uh, if you guys haven't played master mode in Terraria, if you guys haven't played Terraria before, it's insanely hard. Um, really, really fun, though. It's, it's basically the start of the game is, like, insanely hard, and then, uh, at least I haven't gotten to hard mode yet. Like the very start of the game, from when you go to, to like when you when you first start the game, to when you have like some decent mobility and you know a couple of weapons that that can kind of suit you well. At that point, you know you're you're going to be pretty good. Um, but un until that point, it's like brutal trying to get around, and you're using ropes to move around and stuff and. I, I started with a terrible seed as well. Terrible seed. It took me like 13, 14 hours of playing on the world to uh, to finally get a pair of boots. To finally get a pair of boots. And uh, so now I've got the, the lightning spark boots or whatever. Uh, but uh, it, it took me like 13 or 14 hours or something like that to get it. And... I'm like, you know, I'm not I'm not exploring slowly. I'm dying a lot, but like I had I had a good chunk of the map explored and I only found like one house, like one of those treasure houses. I found like maybe two or three chests. And I was like, yeah, I just it it took me like 4 hours to get to my first accessory. That wasn't a watch. I made a watch pretty early on, but I had like, you know, weapons and ar like armor and stuff, and I'm like, yeah, one of these days I might find an accessory that I can equip. Perhaps, maybe. It took me forever. Now I've got it all, and uh, it actually, it, like, it's it popped off real, popped off real good, man. Cause so I got uh, there's a flesh pound over there, I believe. Let's go kill him. I got uh, no flesh pound. No, f yes, flesh, yes, flesh pound. Um, cause I had no boots, right? No boots, no movement speed, no aglet, no anklet, no no nothing, right? I was walking at just the normal speed to get everywhere for the longest time. And then uh, I didn't have, like, a staff of regrowth. I didn't have, like, like, I had nothing. Chests did not exist. Treasure chests did not exist for me. Even my ocean was empty. <laughs> I found one chest in both of the oceans. And it had, like... What did it have? It it had, uh, it had I forget what it had, but it it, it didn't have a, it had a like tube or something. I can't remember what it had. It, it wasn't something I cared about anyway. I put it on because it had like two percent movement speed or something, but it was it was not it was not a valuable find anyway. Uh, but treasure chests just did not exist, man. Anyway, so eventually I found a uh, I was I was exploring the desert. I had been exploring the desert for like five hours at that point or something bombing my way through everything I had like 1500 or 1600 fossil like of the the stupid fossils no extractinator yet by the way either because you know those don't exist either um, 
and I, I like just a ton of those uh, those fossils, the desert fossils. And then I found a a, a a room that had both boots and an extractinator in it, and I was like, dude, everything just turned. It all just it all just got better. So then I had I had boots. I found the, the go oh the goblin tinkerer was there, I believe as well, because uh, I got destroyed by a um, goblin invasion uh, earlier on. Just absolutely destroyed. It was like probably like 30 deaths or something stupid. To, to kill that dang invasion. Um, so the goblin tinker was there, I believe, or at least like pretty close by. I found him around the same time. Um, and then I got the boots, I got the extractinator, I got to make some armor, and like a, a better pickaxe finally, because I was using like lead at the time, because platinum or gold or whatever, like those didn't exist either. Um, I had nothing, dude. So I got to make the, the pickaxe and some decent armor. Uh, and uh, then I started exploring the jungle, found some gravitation potions, found uh, like enchanted sword, and I found all sorts of stuff. Um, took the gravitation potions up, of course, explored the upper side, found some wings and a balloon, got myself a cloud in the bottle, as, or a cloud in the bottle as well, got to make myself uh, one of those cloud and a balloon things, had wings. Oh, it was, a, it was a good time. Went back to the jungle, found my uh, staff of the regrowth, anklet, aglet, like everything just like... I found nothing for hours and hours and hours. And then it was in the span of like maybe 40 minutes. Everything just was like, here you go, <laughs> have fun. So now I'm like, alright, I wasn't really prepared for like... <laughs> taking on... Um, the Eater of Worlds or anything like that just yet. I gotta go set up my arena still, but like, I went from being nowhere near ready to like, well, I'm there. So, that's my next step is to, to kill it. I just have to make Jester arrows and get the arena ready. Shouldn't be a hard fight. I know that he has some, some new mechanics, but they're not really that bad. He got wings and like, boots and all kinds of like, ability to like, mobility and stuff, like, I mean, I think you're I, I think you're pretty much, you know. What? Yo. Uh, so I just got a Discord message from a uh, from a friend of mine. It is a Twitter post by Jagmeet Singh. He is uh, I can't remember what party he's from. I can't remember the name of it. He's, he's the, uh, I believe he's the, I, I don't know political stuff, okay? I know, like, the people and, like, what they stand for and stuff and who I would vote for. But if you want me to name, like, you know, okay, what's his official position and, uh, you know, all this kind of stuff. I'm like, I don't know, dude. I don't know, but Jagmeet Singh, he's, a uh, he's, he's, like, a big political boy. Really, 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 really nice guy, it seems. You know, I mean, it's, his job is to make me think he's nice anyway. <laughs> but he just, uh, on Twitter, he, I don't know, what 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 is it? Pinged? He uh, mentioned Northern Lion with uh, with an Among Us live stream. And I'm like, yo, it's going to be Jagmeet Singh and Northern Lion and Hassan the Nun playing Among Us. I got. I gotta say, it's it's a uh, <laughs> it, it's an event that I am personally rather interested in. That's that's something I'm I'm, I'm here for. It's on uh, Friday, November twenty seventh. So it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. I'm down. I'm watching that. Heck yeah. I'm down. It's crazy how uh, like political people are using like Twitch and Twitter and. All of this kind of stuff to, to you know promote themselves. It's, it's insane how how that's like the norm now. I'm for it for for the record. Like I'm for it, but it's 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 insane. <laughs> just just like you know he you know he he could be the next prime minister of Canada, you know, and he's playing Among Us on Twitch tomorrow. I don't know. I just I just find that uh, I find that amusing personally. Find that amusing. Anyway, so uh, 
like everything came together like just like that after after hours of just hating it anyway master mode is really really tough but i'm i'm uh working my way through it i'm excited to get to uh the dungeon because the dungeon is fun i'm excited to fight the queen bee the queen bee will be a fun fight i'm excited to to you know start trivializing the normal mode stuff get the wall of flesh down and get into the underworld and start farming stuff up and ah there's so much stuff that I'm excited to be doing. I haven't played Terraria in so long. I'm not going to be recording any, by the way. If you're excited about seeing some Terraria videos on the channels or whatever, it's not going to happen. Terraria is one of my... Uh, Terraria, I, I can make a video. I might, I might make some videos on it, but it's not going to be like a Let's Play. You're not, you're not going to see constant progress. It's a lot of work. I've already got the Minecraft one. I've got the RuneScape one. It's coming soon. I'm planning on setting up the multiplayer server tonight. Uh, I have to get the per like the person who's making me a Minecraft thumbnail is still not coming back to me. Uh, I'm gonna probably you know he's he's a good friend of mine. He's the friend of mine who just sent me the uh, the Twitter post by Jagmeet Singh. Um, but uh, I'm gonna have to maybe get on him a little bit for that one. And if he's not you know gonna do it, then I'll have to. Maybe find somebody else. Vintage. I don't want. I don't want to hurt his feelings, but you know the bottom line is like I, I do kind of need it. <laughs> and at, at the same time, like if he doesn't have the time to do it, or if he doesn't have the motivation, or if he has stuff going on in his life, like you know, making a thumbnail for me is, is like the lowest priority thing. I'm not. I'm not upset about it. I, I just I do need the thumbnail <laughs> so I can get started. But I'm planning on setting up the multiplayer server tonight, tomorrow maybe. Uh, I'm going to get started on it. I'm going to buy the server anyway tonight. And then maybe set up a couple of the things and get working on that. So that that can be uh, running soon. Maybe uh, like Monday. Get it uh, launched. So I'll be able to start doing that. I really need the thumbnails. Um, and then... Uh, yeah. That's about it. <laughs> but, um... Perfect. Yeah, there won't be any Terraria series here. Let's get you restocked. I already have enough going on. And I, I like... I've been liking... I uh, When we first started in September... When we started in September with all of this uh, incredible amount of YouTube content... I enjoyed it. I loved it. I loved every second of it. And uh, I wish I could have continued to do that. with uh, Without any kind of not allowance of it from uh, from YouTube side. Would have been great if I could have just kept up with what I was doing because we're actually getting a lot of growth still on the channel, especially with the KF3 release and or with the KF3 kind of like hype and then uh, like Terraria is going to be going in this title. I'll probably get like 20 or 30 views. Um, like we're getting a lot of a lot of content or a lot of uh, marketing going on here. You know, we're getting a lot of attention and uh, I wish I could have had that kind of bleed over into the other content that we've been making. Um, but with that said, I also really like having all this free time that I currently have and, and having that kind of like choice to do whatever I want, which is what the uh, the KF2 or with, which is what the, the RuneScape, the Minecraft content is going to do for me because I can just hop on and I can play whatever I want, record a bit and then, you know, designated times to edit, I guess, but... You know, throughout the week, I'll just record clips and then put together whatever I got. And that's that's what you get. It might not necessarily always be the best content, but it, it gives me the freedom to do what I want when I want to. You know, which is uh, is particularly nice. Ah, uh, I haven't been playing any RuneScape or Minecraft because uh, I don't really want to get started on them until I have the Minecraft thumbnail, and I already have episodes edited and all that. So I'm like, I don't know. I don't want to get too far ahead of it, and then kind of have to fall back. And I already have the uh, multiplayer server as well, although that's going to be a much... This cat's back in the game. I'm, I'm probably not going to be playing on the multiplayer server on the on uh, Serenity. I'm probably not going to be playing on Serenity uh, outside of, like, designated... Well, not designated, but, like, because it's collaboration, so you got to kind of work together with other people. You can't really designate a time for it. Uh, on your own schedule, you kind of have to, to work together and figure out something that's going to work for for multiple people to have collaborations and yada yada yada. Um, 
But I'm probably not going to play on Serenity kind of in my own time. It'll, it'll mostly be, uh, you know, I have to get a video made. So, like, let's sit down, decide on a project, work on it for, like, two or three hours, kind of get some clips going, edit it together, and there's your, your episode, you know? It'll be much lower quality content, but it'll be kind of like a different style as well. We'll be getting less done, but it'll be different stuff that we're doing. And more collaborative, more kind of like working together to do things kind of thing is, is, is my hope with it anyway. There'll be a lot more clips that uh, I will consider filler. <laughs> um, you know? Like having a... Uh, like going to a shop in the district and buying something. You know, I can I can put that in the video and now that's content, but for 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 a single player series it would be I have to go to the desert, dig up all the sand, you know. And I'm not going to record any of that. I'm not going to get any content out of that. So I get I get like, you know, maybe a minute or two of content out of that and that's that's good enough to 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 fill up a minute or two of content, right? That's good. I don't know about you guys, but I just saw uh, this thing just like fly up in the air. Um, so yeah, no, no, no Terraria content. Terraria is going to be my kind of like I don't really want to do anything that I have to. I'm just going to do Terraria. It's my procrastination game. If I'm playing, if I'm playing Terraria, I'm procrastinating. That's how you. Get, that's how it goes. Um, anyway, anyway. It's been it's been good fun playing Terraria. It's good. It's a good game. It's a really 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 good game. It's so much fun. I'm so excited to get into some of the new stuff. There are some really good end game weapons. Like I said, I never killed Moon Lord. Never killed the Moon Meister. So I'm really excited to get into into that and um, finally kill the Moon Meister. It's it's a harder fight now. I didn't do it before. Now they've like just made the Moonmeister a harder fight to begin with, and then I'm also playing on a harder difficulty, so it's like, you know, doubly hard. Um, but... I will I will succeed this time. I want to get all the Moonmeister stuff, you know? I want to get all the Moonmeister... Um, loots. I want to get the Meowmir. I want to get the Zenith. I want to get the... You know, stupid prism thing. Like, I want to I wanna finish the game. So that I can, I can confidently say that, yeah, Terraria is one of my favorite games, and I know how to play it. And I know what I'm doing. I want to be somebody who can load up a game and, and play the game and, and be good at Terraria, you know? And I'm definitely not that, so. That's my goal. I need a, I need a Terraria boot camp. <laughs> That's what I need. That's what I need, man. Terraria boot camp. Oh, it's been so long. There's like new bosses and stuff in the game too that I've never seen. I'm not looking for any uh, spoilers on bosses. I don't mind spoilers on um, events and stuff or like how to get a boss, you know? Not that you guys are going to be spoiling me or anything like that, but um, just just in general, I uh, I don't mind spoilers for, for, for Terraria, but I do mind spoilers for like, you know, what are the boss mechanics and, and how do you fight it and stuff like that. That kind of stuff I, I find annoying. But like, how do you, how do you spawn it? How do you, uh, you know, what's, what, what kind of, is it a Kraken? Is it a eyeball? Like, I don't care about that. Um, what I care about is, is figuring out the, the actual fight itself and uh, making that work myself. Um... Or watching somebody else figure it out and kind of like, you know, puzzle it out with them. That's also fun for me. But uh, some of my friends were like, oh, don't, uh, don't die a bunch of times in the same area. Not gonna, I'm not going to give you any spoilers, but don't die too many times in the same area. I'm like, oh, I'm going to die in the same area everywhere. Okay, the entire world is going to be littered with uh, uh, gravestones and apparently makes a cemetery. I learned that uh, while I was playing... Or while I was handling the uh, goblin invasion, well, they told me, and then I also I, I I I found it and saw it. I actually saw the um, the actual great like cemetery graveyard kind of file while I was handling the uh, the goblin invasion because I couldn't kill them all without taking damage. Dude, those goblin invasions are nasty. They shoot through walls. 
And, I mean, the archers just shoot you with bows, but they do, like, 70 damage a hit. And I'm like, okay, two of those, and I'm, like, dead. Or maybe, like, three, I guess. But, realistically, too, because you're taking damage from, from other stuff at the same time. And you're dying, and you don't have your full health anyway. Ugh, it was, it was just a train wreck. There was nothing I could do. Like, genuinely. There's nothing I could do in that situation. I think you have to have somewhere set up for it, or have significantly better armor. Cactus armor wasn't cutting it. <laughs> cactus armor was not cutting it. Although, I really like what they've done with the early game armors. Because the cactus armor is awesome. It got, it's got that thorns effect on it. So, uh, when you take damage, you also deal damage. Man, when I found that cactus armor and I made it, like it made such a huge difference to, to being able to survive. Because uh, one of my main problems early on was killing things before they killed me. And with the cactus armor, at least when there was only one thing at a time, there's a pretty good chance that it just literally couldn't kill me because the cactus armor would kill it from, from its own impact damage, you know? Which was, uh, which was pretty sick. Helped a bit in the goblin invasion, but... You know, doing 160 damage or something like that total for, for death. Not really uh, going to do too much, but it, it helped a bit. It contributed. It's better than not having it. But I like what they did. They made the, uh, the early game sets actually compelling to use. You don't just go for, you know, hey, what one's got the highest armor. Like, you actually want to think about, like, hey... These these actually give you different benefits. These these give you different bonuses and and things, and I really like that. And they're they're compelling, you know. They're they're actual like good stuff. It's not overpowered, but it's it's nice to have. It's for dang sure. You're not you're not doing that to me. It's been fun though. It's been fun. I started last night with uh, with a couple of friends who were uh, in the Discord in the chat, talking to me and stuff. I think they got a good kick out of me dying a whole bunch. <laughs> it's just death, man. The slimes are doing like 70 damage or something. Ah, oh, master mode. It's brutal. At this point, I'm 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 situated enough that it's, uh, pretty much nothing in the pre-hard mode is. Uh, Nothing pre-hard mode is impossible for me to handle at this point. I'm not good enough to handle everything, but I'm I'm well equipped at this point. We'll we'll, we'll leave it at that. The stupid uh, Eye of Cthulhu fight. I was expecting it to be so much harder. I was expecting it to be so 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 much harder than it was. Um, I, I, I overgeared for that. Like, I took like 40 damage total over the course of the uh, the entire Eye of Cthulhu fight. Like it was completely just destroyed. I don't know. And I never, I never really found the expert mode Eye of Cthulhu to be that hard to kill anyway. Like it just dashes at you, you know, and you just don't get hit. <laughs> you only need like you know 30 blocks, maybe 40 blocks uh, of. Um, like two different platforms at two different heights to, to be able to avoid it completely with with uh, with some boots and a grappling hook anyway gives you enough speed to get underneath them when you need to or get over top of them if you need to especially because I had like wings at the time and it was just like pfft, it's nothing <laughs> it's nothing anyway that's going to do it for today so thank you for watching remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future comment if you have anything to say I'll see you next time uh, bye bye